Do that financial modeling, get that advice about what happens to your investment when interest rates rise. Is it something you're going to be able to continue to afford and will it work for your long-term plan? So on all matters relating to property and, and finance, so we're here again with Michelle Maynard, a financial commentator from uh, the Carbon Group. And today I really want to focus on investing in residential property. So Real Mark manages many thousands of residential properties and what we're seeing is the vacancy rate across most markets is dramatically down, uh, well below long-term averages. Uh, the yields on property uh, certainly increases with the recovery of rentals. Um, and there seems to be a poise in terms of people coming into the investment market. Uh, but what would you say about that, that opportunity at this time? Yeah, a lot of people are looking to rental properties because of that rental yield is so high and they're seeing that it's going to increase definitely things that you need to get advice on because also property prices are rising so it's a really unique situation couple that with interest rates are so low so people are paying a higher price for an investment property with really low borrowing costs so you really need to make an informed decision because those historic interest rates aren't always going to remain low so do that financial modeling get that advice about what happens to your investment when interest rates rise is it something you're going to be able to continue to afford and will it work for your long-term plan? And one of the things that we see is most people buy what they know. They tend to buy in the same suburb they might live in or something like that. But really, um, in addition to return, capital growth is key in this scenario. So in that regard, looking beyond your neighbourhood, would you say is a, an important aspect to really focus on that capital growth long term? You do have to. And investing in property has to be a commercial or business decision. It can't be an emotional one. So yes, look outside your area, look outside what you know, get key advice because they, you need to look at those things. South, I'm a North of the River girl, maybe South of the River is where it should be. So get that advice to make sure the investment property works for you. Capital growth and yield are two things you really need to consider. So if you're looking to invest in residential property at this time, I think it's important to have an informed decision. So we invite you to consult a Rollmark agent in your area.